What's up, Lion Gang? What's up, Leo? What's going on in the life of Lion? Mid month April. Hmm. Hmm. Are we coming into new understandings? Expanding our knowledge? Opening up the doors to receive the wisdom that Spirit is trying to bestow upon us during this time. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boy, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these coins say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, okay? Uh, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family. Y'all, we're dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss, though. We need that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We love. We share. We enlighten. We evolve, okay? Posy vibes only over here. Returning family, what's popping? Gang, gang, what's up, baby? What's going down? I can't wait to Leo season. Leo season is when I wear my short shorts. <laughs> short, short Leo season, honey. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> okay, so you guys, uh, this is not a, <laughs> y'all know I'm silly. You guys, this is not a, a personal reading. It's a general. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description box below. All right, um, you guys take what resonates. Please leave the rest. If the damn shoe don't fit, if that motherfucker is too big, what I'm going to say? Because y'all into it, what I'm going to say? Your ass going to fall. So don't try to make it fit if it don't fit. All right? You guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. All right? Y'all, I just thank you just for being supportive and a part of my family. Truly. All right? So without all that mushy stuff, we ain't getting into that mushy because, you know, I think y'all, it was y'all and another side had me crying last time. I'm not doing that. Okay? So we is going to do it. All right? Let's get into these intuitive messages for mid-month April 4th, the sign of Leo. Okay, so for Leo intuitively, while meditating on the energy, what I picked up was, oh, y'all, this is for the sun, moon, rising, this is for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Leo. Okay, so intuitively, I got new beginnings, prideful, accountability, truth, boundaries, revelations. Wrapping up, past life, travel, diet change, health scares, selfish, compromise, understanding, detox, resistance, faith moves. Come on, Leo. Faith moves. Jump off the cliff. Reconciling, trust issues, wealth. New business, I'm sorry, new business direction, okay? So, you guys, if the intuitive messages did resonate with you, let's talk about it, all right? Um, But after we do the angel message that you guys received for the month, mid-month. The message that you guys received was comfort. This comes from Archangel, oh, Archangel, y'all, my words is fucked up. What's, the, what's retrograde? What's happening in the ethos right now? <laughs> Gotta go check the damn check. I gotta check what's going on. Check the check with my big glasses, damn it. Comfort. Archangel Azrael. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. Okay? So it's okay, that makes a lot of sense. Currently, while I was actually reading a Archangel message, you guys, I kept hearing releasing, 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 holding on too tight, holding on too tight. For some of you all, you're holding on to situations that are really full of shit that you're trying to turn into this big sandcastle and to be very honest with you they're, they're not going to amount to anything but shit but there's a lesson okay to get you to the next step of your blessing it's just how you choose to look at um the, your circumstances okay so if you look at it from a positive place of it's not happening to you but for you um then you can actually ascend without you know the resistance or the anxieties or the paranoia that kind of comes around it I'm hearing go to bed, okay? And literally, I don't know who that was for, but it was straight shots. Go to bed. Your divine, your, your, your spirit guides want you to go to sleep. Whomever I'm talking to, you up all times of the night. And I'm seeing whomever this is, you're looking at a phone. Some of y'all are waiting on someone to call you, waiting on, you're waiting on 
someone to validate something for you. I'm also getting a sense of clarity, okay? For some of you all, you're definitely going to get that during this time, all right? So mid-month April spirit messages. You guys, some of you guys may have an offer of reconciliation coming from some sort of family member. This could also be some, some sort of a father figure. This could be the father of your child. For some of you who have a... Um, a son that is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys could also be hearing some type of news or some type of messages pertaining to your children or your father. Uh, for some of you all, this has to do, for some of y'all, this has to do with something that they're passionate about. Or they. this may even be your children coming to you and letting you know, you know, mama, I want to play basketball. You know, dad, I want to, you know, uh, run track or, you know, I want to be on a debate team. But there is some type of messages coming through. For some of you all, this definitely has to do with legalities around children or around family matters. This could even be inheritance that I'm hearing. For some of you all, um, some of you all, there's a sense of stability that's coming for you, but you're going to have to need, you're going to need to shift your perception on how you look at things because for some of you all, I'm hearing poverty mindset. So some of y'all got to shift the way that you look at the things that's going on around you because for some of you all, patience is really, really, really going to be a big factor and a big test for you all during this time, mid-month, April. I do see some of y'all going to be able to take the rose-colored glasses off when it pertains to a particular situation, especially when it comes to some type of like projection around fears possibly from a mother figure so some of you all could also be waiting to hear some hear back from some type of thank you spirit for some type of legalities um regarding some type of legality starting like maybe like starting a business or some type of entrepreneurship um I, i'm hearing real estate i'm hearing construction contracts alimony 401k ra transfers girl who is in bed who is transferring money who being slick slick send me twenty dollars i won't tell nobody i know i like starbucks that's all that, that's to get all my damn money starbucks the nail shop and my damn child who feels like i don't have nobody else to nothing else to do with my life okay like bills ain't bills bills right how crazy he needs to shift his damn perception Fuck. But you guys, <laughs> during this time, a lot of um, you're going to be receiving a lot of information. Uh, and for some of you all, it's not like again, it's how you choose to look at it. You, there's a need for you to find the positive in every situation that comes forward towards you. For some of you all, there is information. I'm I'm feeling the um the energy of missing peace. Okay. For some of you all, there's the energy of um, like you 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 may have gotten information regarding something around. Court, justice, legalities. So this could have been something around like some type of like courts. So this could even be like child support or something of that nature. Like there was some type of missing piece during this time. You are going to get what you need in order for you to move forward, okay? I definitely feel like in, in, in whatever that missing piece is, for some of you all, you've been attached to the idea of someone possibly returning or something moving forward or you being able to carry the relate, like pretty much some of y'all feel like y'all could change people. Okay, period, point blank. Some of y'all throws your damn cape on and there's a need for you to kind of reflect on that, reflect on your history in doing so. And what, what did you end up with out of the situation? There's a need for you to do something different. You can't keep doing the same shit expecting this, a different result. It's a form of insanity. Who got time to be insane? Got shit to do tomorrow. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> for real, la, 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 lines. All right. Some of you all, all right. Some of you guys may be seeing a lot of frogs during this time, signifying a form of abundance. And for some of you all, there's this tie to someone. I feel that you need it because some of you guys are attached to someone, someone's assets. Like you could be uh, maybe like a housewife, okay, or a house dad. And maybe like your partner goes out and, and you know, I feel like this is someone who makes a very very decent amount of money like you can actually be comfortable you guys can travel you have a comfortable life but i feel like the love there is either non-existent non-existent or i'm feeling the energy of being extremely cold and i feel like leo you've been trying to carry the weight you know what well, i'll do this and whatever your partner is lacking there's a need for you to step back and understand that certain things you you can't stop fate or destiny i mean you can you, you can switch some shit up you totally recreate you totally create your reality by the thoughts but there's a need for you guys to really 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 brown and nurture yourself during this time and really really pull back and a lot of you all may be in this energy of secluding yourself you really don't want to be around people that is kind of shaking up your shaking up your peace 
okay? And for some of you all, you really don't know how to communicate that. You just want things to work the way that you want them to work. And for some of you all, there's this energy of you feeling like as if it's not moving or it's not coming, you know, fast enough or you don't have everything that you need. It's like this feeling of, um, it's like comfort but still lack within comfort. Instead of seeing the glass um, half full, you're seeing it half empty, okay? Some of y'all may be having, um, some of you guys may be revealing, uh, having things revealed to you in your dreams regarding um, possibly a mother figure. For some of you all, you are the key. You are the, some of y'all mid-month April is going to be the key to, so like you're the, you are the missing piece, Leo. And you can take that however it resonates, but I definitely feel for some of you all, there's like, you're like, you're the missing key. You're the, you're the, you're the missing information for some of you all. Um, someone, you, you could have felt trapped in a situation or you, you could have felt as if someone trapped you. This could have also been the situation that I'm hearing around children. You could have felt as if someone trapped you regarding a child, okay? And maybe this person was running from some type of legalities. Whomever this is, that you and this person have some sort of like telepathic connection. So some of you guys, you could be dreaming during this time that this person is kind of coming in your dreams and apologizing, okay? And that is your spirit, guys, kind of giving you that nudge to let you know, stop worrying. Everything's going to be okay. When you truly surrender is when you truly win, okay? So some of you guys... Some of you guys are shifting your perceptions during this time. You're, you're going to be expressing your truth. You're going to be speaking in all of your authenticity, standing in all of your authenticity, taking reign of your own sovereign being, understanding that you cannot change anybody. You cannot control people or the things that they do. You can only accept and act accordingly, period. And this, this focus you being able to take the mask off and truly be who you are. For some of you all, this definitely has to do around your life path. Some of you guys could actually be, um, some of y'all are connected to some type of like elemental, um, like some type of elemental healing dynamic. Like, or I mean, cause I, I'm not really big. I'm not, I'm, yeah, I don't really know too much about, um, every form of nature but some of you all could be like joining like non-profit organizations during this time like saving trees or like uh, protecting like the, the like the nature the plants some of you guys could actually discover that you have a connection to plants or that you receive some type of spiritual downloads or some type of um healing when you sit near some particular plant for some of you all, you really needed to put your back up against a tree or grounding. For some, you can also uh, plant your feet in the soil barefooted and just like kind of like you know put your back like this is kind of like how the chair is, y'all. Plant your feet in that soil of the tree on the foundation, okay? And you sit your back up on that tree. I do it all the time for grounding. You sit your back up on that tree, okay? And when you sit your back up on that tree, you truly, however it is that you meditate, you don't even need to be for a long time. But some of you all are really needing to be in tune. This is going to assist you with getting grounded because for some of you all, you're really needing to watch your damn temper in the mid month of the, the, the middle of April. I feel like it's a sense of, it's a sense of like, like again, I, I, it's ultimately a test of patience, but I feel like it's a sense of feeling like stuck or feeling as if you can't move, like your ass is sinking in quicksand. And that's not the case at all, Leo. For some of you all, this is a situation that's kind of requiring for you to understand that you hold the keys to your own destiny. You hold the keys to you. You hold the keys to that. You hold the keys to how things move. But pride, fear, doubt, anxiety, control are not going to be the aspects that get you get you moving forward to where you want to go. Things are stagnant for you to acknowledge these parts of your shadow self. And I hate when people speak about the shadow self as if it's like something wrong or something just dirty or some shit. Speak down on because all of us had to start from the bottom. Now we're here. You understand? How the hell can you know to be better or know to have a greater understanding if you ain't never lived and ain't never went through nothing? God gives his, his finest soldiers the toughest battles. Baby, but you, but you come out able to walk through brimstone. When motherfuckers who put on them same boots that you got on gonna slip and fall every time. Give yourself that credit. Love yourself. Appreciate yourself. A lot of y'all are looking for people to do this for you. 
And you're needing to shift your perception because you're keeping yourself stuck in that mental mind frame of what I am not, what I don't have. Why not me? Why not you? Because that motherfucker was down here and he got to he, he gotta climb up some shit and go through some shit to get to you. Why are you feeling bad for choosing self-work? I'm finna get the bill, shit. I ain't finna play with Leo. Y'all know I get the bill quick. Okay? My ghetto. All right? Got my little smacking side ponytail going on. I, okay? Real quick. Get it together, boo. All right? For some of you all, you feel stuck given to a situation where, again, you feel trapped. Some of you all are really needing to change your diet during this time. Some of y'all may be changing your diet. You really need to, um, something about start, take out the starches. Not so much starches. Replace the starches with fruits and vegetables. Some of y'all could also be trying to stop smoking. There's a need for you, if you, if, if you, for those of you who are trying to stop smoking, um, your, your spirit guides are trying to assist you. They're needing you to get out and get more active and get out in nature because for some, whomever was trying to stop smoking, this is somebody who also has some type of like health issue that's flaring. And I feel like you've been booking the system and now you, now you scared, scared. You're going to be fine and you're going to be successful and victorious and moving forward away from smoking. I just feel like you kind of, that mind tells you that you need and you're going to have to reprogram your subconscious and do and you can't keep doing the same shit. You're going to have to do things differently in order for you to see different results. And I'm here in June. By the month of June, miracles be, be, would have been occurred with your health, whomever I'm speaking to. You're going to surprise your doctors. They're not even going to know what's going on. Also, eating green leafy vegetables, whomever I was just talking to. Something about the gastrics. Some of you guys are having gastric issues. And some of you all are in this place of being very afraid that it's not happening to you before you. For some of you all to slow you down and assist you in stopping using work and, um, you know, overextending your energy to compensate for the lack that you feel thereof from either yourself, from the past that you still got a purge from. Or maybe from people who just really don't deserve to be in your fucking energy because they can't afford you. Your peace and your time is expensive. Queen, king, fix your crown. I do see abundance is coming in. A lot of you guys are going to be hearing um, some positive news when it comes to uh, some type of new beginning. Okay, so this could have to do with a new job, um, a successful new business endeavor. Some of y'all could have been dreaming about this. For some of y'all, you're also going to find out that you have the gift of premonition during this time. And those are to, that's to you guys who are connected. And for some of y'all, it's something about the solar plexus, but it's like two souls becoming one. Some of y'all are connecting to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be communicating with this person. Um, it's destined for you in this life to either be in some type of partnership with this person. This could be um, in love. This could be co-parenting. This could also be um, business. Um, some type of spiritual practice as well. But there's a, there's an expansion. There's a movement forward. But for some of you all, it's going to cause a sacrifice. And I feel like it's something that you've already been. Some of y'all are dreaming about your future. But you're not seeing people in it. God trying to, God trying to tell you something. <laughs> Mother Universe trying to tell you something. <laughs> Mother guy, you're trying to shift. <laughs> you know, don't limit yourself. Okay? Because if you believe that you can go and attain the moon and the stars, why the fuck are you only settling for the grass and the trees? Get heights. All right. So let's get it. Let's see what's going on in love. For my la 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 Leos. Right. Yo, y'all got a lot of downloads coming in nature during this time. Some of y'all are going through the expansion of your third eye. You have pressure in the snow your head. You were just in that, that. Thank you, spirit. That's what the grounding of that tree exercise was for. That's going to assist you. We are all elemental. We're made of. We're we're only aspects of the elements. Right. So, spirit, what is going on in love? 
show me what's going on in love for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So it's crop watchers for mid month April. What's going on in love? Okay, some of you guys, some of you guys could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. During this time, I definitely feel like for some of you all, you really need to decide if you want to work with this person or move forward and work independently, okay? I definitely feel like for some of y'all, it has to do with the equal level of give and take. I feel like one individual is focusing on, um, and for some of y'all, who, whomever I'm speaking to, for some of y'all, this could also include fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius too. For some of you all, because you've been working on yourself and because you have ascended you've been focusing on your spirituality you've outgrown your partners your friendships so some of you guys could be moving forward i feel like you've been trying to put in a single-handed effort to keep things flowing you know because you didn't want to be um you didn't want to seem like someone who quits like who just gave up you know leo y'all mind cutting people out but what people do not give you credit for is that you're extremely loyal and before you ultimately it's like three strikes you're out y'all all got something about the number three okay i've noticed that about y'all but um, I feel that for some of you all, you kind of, you needed to make a decision. Am I going to stay and continuously trying to make, make this work when I'm feeling overburdened and stressed the fuck out? Or am I going to move forward and give myself that same trust and vulnerability that I've been putting into situations and people and circumstances that doesn't bring me any growth in my life? Unless I'm learning growth through disappointments, you know? So definitely a hell of a decision to make. Some of you guys could have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius wanting to come in and um, work on a situation, work on some type of a foundation. I feel like this is someone who you could have possibly had um, some form of like just a sexual chemistry, a, a sexual connection with in the past. And I feel like for some of you all, you really don't even think that this person, for some of y'all, some of y'all had been working with this person for a while. Some of y'all, you, you, you were dealing with someone who... Uh, possibly that was just like a friends with benefits, a little booty call situation, little after 10 p.m. friends. And now this person actually wants to work on something solid. They actually want to move forward. Or you could be feeling this. Um, someone wants a family, okay? For some of you all, this could be uh, fast moving resolutions towards fixing some type of family dynamic, okay? After possibly someone feeling rejected in the past, okay? Someone really wants to come through and transform transform a situation. Now, pause. There is a kicker to this. For some of you all, if this person um, is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person could also be an Aquarian. Just be careful and ask the right questions and just don't move extremely too fast because for some of y'all, this person is going to come in very, very, very fast, okay? But they're going to be out just as fast as they asses came in, all right? I feel like for some of y'all, this person is coming in to bring you some type of closure or some type of clarity where you guys can move towards peaceful resolutions towards some type of family dynamic. Some of you guys are... Some of y'all are going to be um, coming to the conclusion or coming to some realization that some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And for some of you all, this person, this could be the baby mother, baby father. This person wants to come in and transform. They want their family back, okay? I feel like this person is tired of being um, left out in the cold. And some of y'all are going to move away from a water sign due to this person always being victimized. You feel as if, you know, we can't get to a resolution if both parties are pointing the fingers because, you know, there is no accountability. For some of y'all are moving away from a water sign due to accountability. For those of you who are dealing with air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I definitely feel like this could be someone who could have had some type, some of y'all could be finding out this person had a family dynamic. Um, This person was like married or this person was told you, they could have told you that they were in some form of separation or that they were going to separate from their wife or their family, but you're going to be finding out that this person is not, okay? And for some of you all, some of you guys want to move forward in love. But there's a fear of leaving someone behind due to like a lack of finances or like a lack of, for some of y'all this could have been someone who you felt was there for you when you didn't have it. And even though you ascended in this consciousness to understand that not all things last forever, things happen for a reason to see that this person really is not on that level. So they're only seeing the situation from a 3D standpoint and this person, um, there's a lot of rejection here. 
this person won't see it the way that you understand it to be. But there's a need for you to trust. Because for some of y'all, holding on to a relationship is going to come to a realization to have some type of download or get some type of clarity. This could even come in the form of a dream. I'm actually seeing someone actually speaking words, possibly. Or you could also be finding out something, possibly. For some of y'all, you could actually be seeing something like via uh, email or social media or something to that extent. I feel this is a situation where there's going to be some clarity around why, you know, someone feels disconnected or why someone feels a disconnect that is going to release you. Ooh, excuse me. To this outcome of the Ten of Cups and the Empress. Okay, some of y'all, this could actually be um, moving forward, okay, um, towards some type of like structure. Trying something again, mending fences. This could have to do with Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius, Leo like yourself, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus. But I definitely feel a movement forward, okay? And I feel like the Hiko they go to bed. For some of you all, you kind of you kind of been in your head about a situation. They could involve an air sign, okay, possibly, um, or just you give into two situations, whether it's time, energy, money. This could be an air sign in their head about how they're going to continue to give to two situations. But I do feel the energy of a coming clean, a coming clean to move forward. So, like, resolutions come into situations where there couldn't be any type of clarity, closure, understanding. That's going to assist y'all asses in going to fuck the bed, okay? But yes, yeah, definitely time to make a judgment call. It's going to have to do with the Pisces. Secrets. It's time for you to stop turning the blind eyes if you don't see the bullshit from the same castle. Alright? So that's what I have for my Leos for the month of April, mid-month. If you guys need a personal reading, you guys hit me up. That information, again, is in the description. I love you all so very much. Peace, blessings, much love, y'all, and namaste. Deuces, boo.